What is up, everyone? JD here. Hope you're all doing well today. Today, I'm excited to bring you my top carries of the week, why I carried them, and a little bit about the knife. Let me know down in the comments, what have you been carrying recently that you enjoy the most? Or what are you looking forward to that you might have picked up recently that you know that you're going to be carrying a whole lot? Let's go ahead and jump into the carries for the week, guys. Monday, I did another My Carta Monday theme, and I had the Civivi Conspirator. I really do like this one a whole lot. I think it is still my favorite Civivi button lock. The reason I say that is because I really do like the Nitro V. I like the size and the ergos on this, very neutral ergonomics, so I'm able to get really nice position in hand. The button on it works pretty good. It has very smooth action. It's not the snappiest button lock I own. That's still the Protec Malibu. They really have that tuned. But this is a really nice knife. I really do like this. I like the way that it performs and how it feels in hand, the way it carries in pocket. It has good weight to it. And uh, I really do like that one. Now, the pocket clip on it wasn't that great so what I did decide to do was go ahead and pick up another banter pocket clip and I did put that on here and that made a huge difference so when it's in hand now I really don't notice the pocket clip nearly as much as I did with the other one even where the ramp up comes for the catch it's so spread out and it feels so different because it's nice and wide so it's spreading the pressure out even more, so it feels really good in hand. Nitro V Edge is holding up pretty well. I think it does a pretty good job. It's either at or above where 14C28N has been performing for me, which I really do like, but no issues with any type of rust or any corrosive issues, and it's still slicey enough, even though it's a taller blade, that it just goes through the material and that you know it performs really well and it has a nice fidget factor to it so that's what was in the pocket on monday as my main carry my companion carry was actually my kaiser mini sheepdog with the 154 cm and the black micarta this one here has the flipper tab delete so it's the thumb hole variant and the reason that i do like that is because i can actually get all four fingers on here and still have room to spare so this actually makes it nice to use getting into the packages draw cuts even breaking down some smaller boxes on occasion i'm talking like you know when you get that single knife which doesn't happen that often let's be honest it's usually multiple in a box right <laughs> but those single boxes this will even break those down or start to break them down very nicely and uh has really good action for such a small knife so that was the companion carry that was hanging out with the conspirator on monday tuesday in the office so i wanted to style up the carry a little bit make it a little bit more gentlemanly so i went ahead and grabbed my dawn this one here really still one of my favorite releases i know it wasn't introduced this year but it wasn't put into production with the final variant until this year and that's one of the reasons that i do like this again a very thin and slicey blade very nice hand ground side to side or I don't know if it's machine ground but it has that side to side ground which looks really nice it doesn't really have a forward finger choil you can get a little bit of a finger in there I'm not really sure what you're going to do with that but as you start to move forward if you try to lay your finger in there flush you are going to rest on the tip so I would just really call that more of a very generous sharpening choil more so than i would have grind my only complaint continues to be just i wish the access to the lock bar was just a little bit nicer i wish they would have chamfered it differently what i would have loved to have seen is just them carve out even more in the middle and have it come out or if they wanted to just knock this down a little bit more or leave a little bit more material over here so that you can get access to that lock bar a little bit easier front flipper on here works nice very unicorn like front flipper tad nice and tall so you just got to hit it dead on in the middle and you can really go to town with that but the nice thing is it's not just a front flipper it has a fuller so you can reverse flick and you can even deploy this with the thumb if you're not putting your hand on the lock bar like i just did really missing here <laughs> so if i can keep my hand off of the lock bar it will come out what i'm doing when i put pressure on that lock bar is is i'm pushing it into the blade and it's slowing it down and losing the momentum so really really beautiful knife what i had as the companion carry 
in the organizer is the tactile bear with the magnet cut this one i did go ahead because i like to pull it in and out of the organizer with the lanyard bead or the lanyard and bead um, I picked up theirs and I don't know how well it shows because of the lighting and it's the metallic material But it has the same types of grooves going through it that match it up Really do like this. It's very useful. I've been very surprised. I've opened, you know letters and packages But I have even like grandpa style just gone to town on an apple and uh, man This thing slices right through it pretty good walk and talk and a really nice looking companion carry it was also the companion carry on Wednesday. So Wednesday's main carry is my recently acquired rock wall. This one here has the golf ball pattern on it. This one also is done in magnet cut because they offer it in 20 CV as well. At least I, I think they still do. Um, I'm really enjoying this. While it does look like it is a smaller knife, when you get right up on the hump here, you actually have a little bit of room in the back. And if you put your finger in the cutout for access to the lock bar, you get about three and a half finger grip. So it's a really nice gents knife. It is a smaller carry, but being that it is chunky, it does feel pretty good in hand. And the golf ball pattern, just like the milling here that you see on the bear, they both offer nice grip because they give you texturing it's somewhere for the fingerprints to grab onto for the fingertips uh, so it feels confident in hand and I really do like that a lot the access again to the lock bar same as the Dawn a little bit um, of a complaint for me I guess I would say because of the fact that you have to really come in like that if you come in from the side you have to hit it right here in the corner for it to land on the thumb because if you try to come in this way, you can see here if your thumb's up and you don't pull it down fast enough, it's just going to hit the um, the knuckle there, which I've came close to doing a couple times because I forget to come in from the side when I do that. It does have really smooth action. It, it did want to move around on me a little bit, so I did twice with the Loctite. I started with a small amount because I don't like to gum it up too much because I don't want it to be... It is medium lock tight, but I just don't want the resistance there when I'm trying to bake back it out to maintenance the knife. So I did a second time go ahead and put some lock tight on there, and I think it is pretty dead center. Um, so I'm happy with that. My my only other complaint besides that is just I wish they could have found a way to bring these thumb studs up just a little bit because they are a little bit tight, or if they could have angled the knockdown here to get to the thumb studs if they could have just angled it out a little bit longer sort of like what you see on the conspirator like bringing it back more doesn't necessarily have to be deep but i think that really would have helped and uh, i haven't taken the pocket clip off to address the fact that you can you know it's clearly not touching the scale because it has bent out so it's a little bit thin so hopefully they can you know fix or address those issues as they continue to make those variants so again companion carry was the bear with the rock wall on wednesday on thursday debuting a knife that i don't know if it's been on the channel yet or not probably has but i really can't remember because i am actually kind of far out was the Demco AD 20.5. This time I was carrying the Knife Center exclusive 3V variant with the recently acquired OG scales that have the shark's tooth, I think is what it's called. I think it's shark's tooth. I think one time I mentioned, I said shark bite, but it's actually shark tooth, which I think is really cool. It has a really unique look to it. It is a little aggressive, but they did a a pretty good job it feels like kind of knocking it down so while you do feel the texturing there and the grip there and it is pretty aggressive and it is definitely going to fray the pants going in and out of the pockets but man in hand it feels so good and when you just have your fingers on the scales really good grip for the fidgeting with it and uh just a great they're they're really nice my complaint with this as if you watch the video just that it's really tight tolerances. I'm gonna try this weekend to take it apart. Someone had mentioned they just kind of took like sandpaper and rolled it up small enough to fit in the hole and just kind of worked it a little little by little checking the barrels until it went in smooth but pretty snug because I don't want to lose that because they're not, they're D-shaped barrels but it is not a D-shaped lanyard. Um, 
backspacer that actually they're just perfectly circled and i think that's why they did the tolerance so tight is to keep it from moving i have continued to play with it and try to adjust it it does just ever so slightly favor the clip side just a little bit i know it's probably hard to tell from here but it needs to just come over just that much to be centered that much i think there we go so you see just ever so slightly off i mean not enough to bother me i really don't care about that but what i don't want is i don't want to have to battle with this um, backspacer when i'm doing maintenance like when i'm taking it apart to oil it and stuff so that was the main carry on thursday and i do have other things planned for that for the splash of color um, i'm gonna try some heat anno and such so stay tuned for that one more to come the companion carry on Thursday is my recently acquired <laughs> Delica 4. This is the KnifeJoy exclusive Sekusiti Japan made 20 CV variant of the Delica 4. And I really like this blue. I think this is a great companion carry as well. Great size, a little bit bigger than what you see with like the Sheepdog or the Bear. So you do get a nice four finger grip. It almost leaves a little bit extra off the back there. And then it has really good hand position and you can get out to that tip and I, what i love about the indela and the delica is it does have the strength and tipped to where they curve it down and kind of you know that bend adds some strength as opposed to it just coming straight out but it also helps with like utility and draw cuts so uh, as you can see it is getting some use i will definitely be carrying this one more companion carry because i love the weight it's still summertime it's a really nice carry if i'm going out with the wife for a walk or something like that to throw down in the basketball shorts or the um, gym shorts really lightweight but something that i know that i can count on being there it doesn't have any side to side or up to up and down play really really good knife and the frn on here is very comfortable so that was the companion carry that i had with the ad 20.5 on thursday and today I am carrying, I'm going to start with the companion carry first, the QSP Penguin with the 154CM and the anodized pineapple frag pattern titanium scales. Really like this one a lot. This is definitely thinner than your standard Penguin here with really nice action because it does have ceramic bearings in the pivot on bronze washers, caged of course. Great access to the lock bar. This is what I'd like to see happening with the dawn just leave more material there and just do a little bit of a knockdown this is great access and it even has this little landing spot there for the thumb to hit on so it doesn't fall down on the finger and that of course also engages with the stop pin on the back which is what locks it in place with the detent great companion carry today in the pocket main carry is going to be the tucson ts270 with titanium scales that have micro milling on it even has micro milling on the pocket clip as well and this one is a beautifully stone washed 14c 28 in blade super thin scalloped on the back it has really nice contouring this this spoon here is in a really good spot even if you're choking up a little bit here which does leave i know it looks like it's close but it leaves just a little bit of room but you could even extend that choil out because the plunge grind comes right up to it so you would be getting a smile after like one or two sharpenings so i probably will take a little bit of a rotary tool with my dremel or a rotary bit with my dremel and just bring it out just a touch probably just take like that much off and then it'll be like a full four finger forward finger choil which is going to make this even nicer great utility shaped blade has a little bit of belly here and this thing just goes through the material really nice i love the design of this i love the ergos it feels really good in hand it has nice scalloping here with plenty of space to get in there for the access to the lock bar the reverse action on this knife is great so it's the thumb action and with no flipper tab minimal pocket space because it does reduce the height Whoop, flip slipped centering really really good here and you can see with the two sections that has the backspacer integrated into the handles and it completely hides the edge here but i think it is a really beautifully designed knife this one here on white mountain knives with my discount code will save you 10 percent on it very affordable 
I would call this the budget premium, sort of what Civivi has become. Tucson has a lot that fall into that wheelhouse and their 14C28N seems to be treated really well. So really like this one, um, glad I picked it up. I almost let it go in a sale recently because I didn't think I was gonna carry it, but I'm glad I waited and carried it a little bit more because I really do like that one a lot. Anyway, that is what was in my pocket. Again, down in the comments, what, what are you carrying? What are you enjoying? What's coming that you know that is going to monopolize your pocket time? Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor. Leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to have your support as I continue to grow the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget the links are in the description for all your needs and anything that you want. Tools, recommendations, discount codes, etc. Totally up to you if you want to use them. The links to Amazon do help. I get a little bit of a kickback. It isn't much, but every little bit, again, goes towards a knife for the channel and potentially future giveaways. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thanks for tuning in today. Peace.